Hello, this is the secret of the Bronx and this time I will talk about what is the common thing that the pros do okay so I will show you what is the secret so many people don't know this they approach the shot from the front okay you see this with every pro every pro does this but they don't tell you about it because then you would beat them okay you would you would easily beat you would beat the pros if you do exactly the same way as they do so they don't really tell you about it so they just approach the shot from the front okay very easy pool becomes very easy when you do that if you approach the shot from the side then you can't make the shot but if you approach from the front you can very easily make it so i this time i will show you uh, the the ultimate secret of how to do that it is by making the steps you plan the steps ahead so when you walk around the table you plan every single step you take every step you take around the table you plan ahead and that's the secret of the pros so if an amateur an amateur would come to play he would go like this okay he doesn't really know what he's doing he just yeah he just bends down randomly so he takes random steps the amateur takes random steps and that is not consistent what you need to do is you need to plan every single step this foot there this foot there this foot there this foot there like that exactly and then the final steps are the most important because you want you want your left foot left foot to move move towards the shot okay you need your left foot to point there that's what you want to do so when you take take the step you go you step into the shot you step into the shot with your with your left leg if you are a right-handed player you step into the shot with your left leg like that there you see I went from all the way here to all the way there with that step and this is how you aim perfectly you step into the shot while aiming at the same time okay you aim while taking the step and then you move down forwards further okay do that and that is how you aim the shot perfectly and you don't need to many amateurs they go down first they are blind like that they go down and then they look around how to aim how to aim the shot and that is not good so if you if you set up the you bend down like this okay then you look ah, where is the cue ball where ah, there is the cue ball then they try to try to adjust their stroke and it becomes very strange so what you need to do is after you set down the after you set down the shot you can't move your arm at all your arm needs to be straight and still you can't do any, any movements if you do like this then your your body never learns to stroke straight but if you set down step, step into the shot set down the shot and then keep everything the same way always then you can practice shooting straight okay so you you practice like that shoot straight all the time and it doesn't really matter if you make the ball or not you should you, you should always keep shooting straight after you put down the shot and eventually you will start putting down the shot straighter and straighter the, the more you practice and when you when you set down the shot and shoot straight your, your body becomes better at shooting straight okay so first step into the shot have your weight on your right leg if you are a right-handed player step into the shot with your you align the shot straight with your head and then you point with your left foot 
to the shot and you step with your left foot forwards into the shot in a straight line into the shot in a straight line and at the same time you move slowly you move your head straight down and slowly straight and slow like this the head is always above the line of sight and that is the secret now now you know now it is very obvious to you that this is how you should do it but many amateurs they don't know how to do it but it is this easy it is this easy and once you know it you will think ah why didn't i do this before it is so simple it is so simple and that is why why, why the pros don't want you to know this because then, then you will be them, okay? Wait on your right foot, point forwards with your left foot. Get into the shot, okay? Into the shot. Very easy. And then just pull the trigger. You don't, you don't need to do any, any of these strokes, okay? Many amateurs, they just stroke like this, okay? You don't need to do that. These, these strokes are only for speed control nothing else it is not for aiming this is for aiming you stand before the shot you aim with your head you take the step forwards you bend down you bend down with your head and keep the same line with your head always 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 and then you have finished aiming you don't need to do any of these movements at all if you do these movements then your body never has a chance to adapt and improve the stroking, stroking accuracy. So if you, if you go down and the, the aim doesn't look good, you, you step up again and you start over. If you go down and it is not straight and you need to adjust, then your stroke will never become good. But if you go down and keep the stroke you have, your, your stroke it will be straighter. It will be straighter if you go down and uh, and then adjust your stroke will not be good okay so go down keep the keep the aim you have and then pull the trigger straight in the pocket and if if uh, th th this is something very important now if if you go down and shoot and your aim is not perfectly straight it is much better to uh, still shoot than to adjust, okay? So you go down, now your aim is not straight. So in instead of moving like this, instead of doing that, you just keep, you, you just accept the aim and shoot e even if you miss. Okay, so now I will miss the shot. I will go down, this is the wrong aim, but I will shoot anyway, and now I miss the shot. And then the next time you do it again, you go down, you go down, and this time a little better, and you still shoot, you still shoot, and a little better, and then next time, and next time it gets better and better. So you get better, at, better and better at aligning the shot and aiming while standing up. You get better at it, at, and eventually you are able to make the shot. You can make the shot eventually, and the, the more you practice, the better you get at the aligning the shot and the better your your stroke arm becomes your stroke arm becomes more perfect because it, it will it will shoot where you are aiming you will improve accuracy of your shooting arm and you will also improve your aiming while standing up so you you are when you are standing up you step into the shot and you accept the aim you have and then you shoot straight okay you don't need to you don't make any of these movements okay and uh, I, f I first discovered this by playing a tournament and in the end of the tournament my stroke was crazy good very accurate I didn't know why my, my stroke was the best ever in my life and I didn't know why but then I discovered when I played the tournament uh, whenever the, the shot what was not not uh, perfect i stood up again and aimed again went down it was not good i st stood up I, I did that many times during the tournament 
I didn't do many, any any those adjustments like you see many amateurs do. I didn't do that. I just stood up, bent down, and I was I, I wasn't satisfied unless I was one hundred percent certain I would make the shot that my aiming was perfect. So I stood up, bent down again, and then eventually my stroke became straighter and straighter the longer the tournament went on. So the longer I played in the tournament, the better my stroke became because I didn't do any adjustments. I didn't ad adjust the shot at all. I just put it down and I shot straight. And the more, more and more I shot straight, the better my stroke became. So my stroke became straighter, okay? You, so you get a straighter stroke if you don't make any adjustments to your stroke while being down. You need to aim while you are standing up and then just pull the trigger. So there, that was a, that was a great secret that many pros have. They, they uh, stand up again and that is very important. Very important to stand up again if the aim is not good. Don't do any, any of those adjustments to your aim while down. That is the biggest mistake you can do. And that is why many pros uh, beat you in the tournament because they do that. Do you often see that the pros, they stand up? Yes, you see, you see that often. You don't see amateurs do that so often. The amateurs just go, go like this. They are here, they go like this. And then they, yeah, they start, start to aim while they are down. That is, the, that is a big mistake, big mistake. And now when you know this secret, you, you can play better pool. So, I will show it again. You align the shot, you step, step forwards straight. You bend your head down straight. You keep what you have. You don't change anything. If you need to change, then you stand up again and start over. And start over and over again until you are satisfied. And then you pull the trigger when you are satisfied. Okay, and this the, the more you do this, the better your stroke becomes and you will, you will hit where you aim on the cue ball because your stroke is straighter. But if you keep adjusting like this, then you will get a very bad stroke, like, like something like this. You will, you will develop a bad stroke if you adjust your aim while you are down. But if you don't adjust anything, even if you miss, if you don't adjust anything, your stroke becomes straighter and straighter, okay? So I will miss now again, I will miss, but my stroke will be straighter. I, I'm shooting where I aim, and that makes the stroke straighter. And eventually, you will make the ball. You will eventually make the ball. You will make the ball straight in the pocket, because you know how to aim and your stroke becomes straighter and straighter so you will hit where you aim, okay? So this is the end of the video. Subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.